Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show y'all how to make my Alex and Cable Land Tunisian Crochet Shawl. This shawl uses a medium weight yarn which helps to create a beautiful texture and drape. This pattern is an intermediate pattern and you may want to practice the 1-1 and 3-3 cable stitches before starting the pattern. Video tutorial links are in the box below. Let's get started. Today I'm using Universal Yarn Uptown Worsted in Pale Orchid. I love this yarn for this pattern, but if you cannot get this yarn, I suggest using a yarn that is similar in fiber and weight content. I am also using a size K 6.5 millimeter Tunisian hook by Clover, and I am also using a cable stitch holder by Clover, but you can use another hook without a handle as the cable stitch holder if needed. I will also have those instructions in this video. You may also want a stitch marker for marking the beginning of the repeats to help keep track of where you are. The full written pattern with video tutorial links and gauge is available for free. The link is in the box below. Start with the size K Tunisian hook with cord and chain 67. Starting in the second chain from the hook and working in the back humps of each chain, pick up a loop in each chain across. You should now have 67 loops on the hook. Every return pass will be the same in this pattern. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Now to begin the repeat, yarn over and pull through two loops. Continue yarning over and pulling through two loops until one loop remains on the hook. Row 2 forward pass. The first loop on the hook counts as a Tunisian knit stitch here and throughout this pattern. Tunisian knit stitch into each stitch across. I will continue on and when I have the end stitch remaining I will show you how to work into the end stitch. The end stitch also counts as a Tunisian knit stitch throughout this pattern. Insert the hook behind the last two vertical bars, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Now make a return pass like before. I will have the time stamp in the box below. Row 3 through row 6, repeat row 2. I'm going to complete these rows and then I will be back to continue on. I'm now ready to start row 7. Row 7 forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next 3 stitches. Remember that the first loop on the hook counts as a Tunisian knit stitch here and throughout the rest of the pattern. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Now we are going to make a 3-3 RC. This is a right crossover that consists of 6 stitches. First I'll show you with the cable stitch holder and then I'll show you with the second crochet hook. Tunisian knit stitch into the next 3 stitches. Slide these 3 stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in the back. Tunisian knit stitch into the next 3 stitches. Slide the stitches from the cable stitch holder onto the hook. Now you can continue on. Drop the main hook 
and pick up the second hook. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Hold in back. Use the main hook to Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the second hook to the main hook. Now you can continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat, 1-1 one, one, RC, Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Slide this stitch to the cable stitch holder and hold in back. I like to keep this loop tight. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch, but make sure to pull up on that loop. I like this stitch to be a little loose. Slide the stitch from the cable stitch holder to the hook. Continue on. Drop the main hook. Use the second hook to make a Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Hold this hook in back and Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch with the main hook. Slide the stitch from the second hook to the main hook. Continue on. Skip one. Make one in the top bar. One one RC. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. One one LC. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Slide this stitch to the cable stitch holder and hold in front. I like to keep this loop loose. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. I like this stitch to be a little tight. Slide the stitch from the cable stitch holder to the hook. Continue on. Drop the main hook. Use the second hook to make a Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Hold this hook in front, keeping the loop loose. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch with the main hook, but make this loop tighter. Slide the stitch from the second hook to the main hook. Continue on. Make one in the top bar. Skip one. One one LC. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I'm going to repeat this two times and then I will be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. 3-3 three, three, LC. This is a left crossover that consists of six stitches. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches.
slide these three stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in the front. Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the stitches from the cable stitch holder onto the hook. Now you can continue on. Drop the main hook and pick up the second hook. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Hold in front. Use the main hook to Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Slide the three stitches from the second hook to the main hook. Continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Now make a return pass. I will make mine and then we can continue on. Row 8 forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Skip one. Make one in the top bar. One one RC Skip one, make one in the top bar. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Make one in the top bar. Skip one. One one LC. Make one in the top bar. Skip one. Tunisian knit stitch into the next four stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I'm going to make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. 
Tunisian knit stitch into the next 6 stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Make a return pass. I'll make my return pass and then I'll be back to continue on. Row nine, forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. 1-1 one, one, RC. Skip one, make one in the top bar, Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches, make one in the top bar, skip one, one one LC, Tunisian knit stitch into the next four stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I will make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Make a return pass. I will make my return pass and then I'll be back to continue on. Row 10 forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat, 1-1 one, one, RC, skip one, make one in the top bar, 1-1 one, one, RC,
Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. 1 1 LC. Make one in the top bar. Skip one. 1 1 LC. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I'm going to make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Make a return pass. I will make my return pass and then I'll be back to continue on. Row 11 forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat, Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. Skip one, make one in the top bar, one one RC. Skip one, make one in the top bar, Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch, make one in the top bar. Skip one, one one LC. Make one in the top bar. Skip one, Tunisian knit stitch into the next four stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I will make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Make a return pass. I will make my return pass and then I'll be back to continue on. Row 12 forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next three stitches. Now to begin the repeat. Tunisian knit stitch into the next stitch. 1-1 one, one, RC. Skip 1. Make one in the top bar. 
Tunisia knit stitch into the next three stitches. Make one in the top bar. Skip one. One one LC. Tunisian knit stitch into the next four stitches. Repeat from the star two times. I will make my repeats and then I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the next six stitches. Tunisian purl stitch into the next stitch. Tunisian knit stitch into the last three stitches. Make a return pass. I will make my return pass and then I'll be back to continue on. Now repeat rows 7 through row 12 until your piece is 68 inches tall or the desired length, but do end after a row 7. I am going to make my repeats until my desired length and then I will be back to continue on. Repeat row 2 for 6 rows by putting a Tunisian knit stitch into each stitch across. I'm going to complete my six rows and then I'll be back to continue on. Now to bind off, insert the hook into the next stitch, just like for a Tunisian knit stitch, yarn over, and pull through the loops on the hook to create a slip stitch. Continue across. Now you can block, weave in the ends, and enjoy. The end. I hope you liked this video tutorial and pattern. If so, please give it a thumbs up and or share on social media. Subscribe to my channel for more free patterns and videos. Until next time, bye and happy crocheting!